When it comes to playing video games, especially on a competitive level, there is a lot of this phenomenon called gatekeeping. Gatekeeping can occur through many different forms, whether it's skill cap or community entry, internet speed, but the number one gatekeeper when it comes to getting into gaming of any sort is the price. I mean, a Nintendo Switch is $300, a PS4, also $300, a PS4 Pro, an Xbox One X, those are $500. And don't even get me started on the asinine cost of getting into PC gaming. So, the whole goal of this little shindig, casually, is trying to demystify, simplify, and make cheaper the entry into competitive gaming and gaming in kind. Because everybody should be able to experience the joy, the fun, the nature of the scene itself. And we're gonna start that off today by talking about peripherals, and specifically the keyboard, and more specifically, the Leobog K21W, a custom RGB mechanical keyboard that retails at just $20 on Amazon. The Leobog K21W features custom mechanical switches that feel very akin to Cherry MX Blues, a compact tin keyless design, a nice sleek aluminum chassis, and multi-color backlighting that features multiple effects, which we'll get to later. So I am always in the pursuit of a nice, well-rounded mechanical keyboard. It's been a hunt that I've had since I was maybe 13 years old and was just really getting into playing computer games on a serious level. And every year, every keyboard purchase, I feel like I get closer. And with the Leobog, even though it's only $20 and does not come without faults, I definitely feel like I'm getting there. It features these custom blue switches that feel very akin to Cherry MX switches, but it's not hard to tell the difference between Cherry switches and these. These have a much deeper, more tactile click and also wiggle more, but they are still very much so mechanical and they're still very, very nice to type on. I was pleasantly surprised because at the price point, I expected them to be squishy, gross. You could add any number of adjectives onto that. I did not expect quality. Let's just leave it at that. And yet that's what I got. They work great in games and feel even better to type on. I played OS with them, Overwatch with them, Counter-Strike with them, Quake with them, and it held up incredibly well. Talking about games, the 10 keyless form factor of the keyboard, which by the way, it does come in a full size version, but that's gonna be an extra $10. The compact form factor worked incredibly incredibly for my low DPI game settings. I play at around 400 DPI and a low in-game sense on pretty much all of my games. 2.25 in Counter-Strike, 3 in Quake, 7.5 in Overwatch, just super duper low. And this form factor allowed absolutely no interference from the keyboard itself. And I'm aware that a lot of other keyboards have this compact form factor, but the Leobog does it incredibly well. This isn't even to mention that this form factor is packed into a nice sleek aluminum chassis that is very lightweight, but also sturdy. I hit it a few times, I dropped it for sure when doing this review, and it's held up incredibly well. Not even the keycaps wanna come off, which is incredible. Which, by the way, to mention the keycaps, they're double shot shine through keycaps, a nice sturdy plastic. I honestly couldn't ask for anything better from a $20 keyboard. And now we're gonna get to the lighting effects. This was personally the selling point for me because I could not begin to believe that a $20 keyboard had RGB lighting, and it doesn't exactly. You can say RGB because it does feature, you know, the rainbow, but it doesn't really have any addressable colors. It's just red to white in descending order. And then on the screen right now is gonna be all the effects that come with it. That is the selling point, the effects. You can do a rippling effect, you can do a snaking effect. There are certain gaming profiles that you can set up that aren't super robust, but if that's your thing, go for it. For $20, it's incredibly robust, and I was not expecting the design choice to add this in. So, a $20 mechanical keyboard, is it a yay or a nay? Personally, I'd say it's a big yay. Certainly it's not gonna be Corsair quality 
or Logitech quality, but it's certainly not $20 quality either. Overall, it feels like it should be much more and definitely has more features than most $20 keyboards do. You can't get some membrane keyboards that are as nice as this $20 keyboard. If you wanna check it out, pick it up for yourself, click the link in the description down below. Go check it out, pick it up. The time is now to jump from the world of membrane into the mechanical keyboard world. It's something that you wanna do. I promise you it'll change your life. If you found this helpful, leave a comment down below. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.